Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to learn about Microsoft Azure Migrate Services. When we talk about Migrate Services, it's not just the one kind of resource to be migrated. We're going to talk about a central management interface which has a multiple tools uh, which will be useful for your migration services. Let's say you can go for uh, not just the Microsoft tools you can also use the third-party tools also uh, from a different vendors who are going to provide you to move some kind of Azure uh, some kind of on-premises resources to one location from your on-premises to migrate or from a different cloud to Azure cloud altogether and uh, you do have Microsoft resources but you can also use the third party also if at all you are convinced and if you don't have that option available with Microsoft Azure services and this includes a few of the critical th that can be migrated let's say you can go for server migration when I say server migration the servers are maybe virtualized or physical or let's say your virtualized servers uh, or Hyper-V was installed and you want to you know, migrate that complete instance of your physical server to cloud you can do that even it's not just a hyper-v it also works on vmware and also on a physical service so these servers can be migrated in fact we're going to do a demo on this for hyper-v in the next lecture and for the database migration we're not just talking about microsoft databases it supports a different databases which are coming from your on-premises if you see here uh, within this link I'm gonna also give you a resource link for within this lecture but you can see here so the databases which are coming from your on-premises SQL Server or Oracle or MySQL or, or maybe from AWS or Google Cloud all that can be migrated by doing some kind of assessment uh, to Microsoft Azure database so you have an option to move wide variety of different databases and you can go for automating these database migration altogether so you have these options with Microsoft migration services that's Azure migration services and also when you look at uh, other applications also can be migrated like web apps and VDI all that also can be migrated so we're going to talk on that so let's have a look on by a little bit of splitting what all the things we can do it so we can do the server migration uh, that can be a third party or you can do even assessment whether these virtual machines or the physical machines are really compatible for Azure cloud or not you can do that kind of an assessment and then you can go for the migration so you have that option and for the data migration you do have a large a volume of data then you can use a physical data box hardware and then that can be you know shipped back to Microsoft data center also and web app uh, migrations you can do the assessment of your web applications uh, and you can move them from dotnet and php apps to microsoft uh, app services you can do that even database migration we talked earlier and we are going to do the uh, a quick demo on server migration as well as the sql database migrations and also vdi which is quite a new service which is added within the migration services and uh, you can do the VDI migration from Azure WVD Windows on VDI disks. All these are possible. So if you just open the Microsoft Azure Blade, you have these options called migration goals. So you have the server, database, and the VDI, and the web apps and data box. So all these total five different migration tools are available and you can use these services to assess and discover discover assess and then you can plan for migration and then you can cut over so all these are available uh, as the option so let me also show you quickly how the console looks like you actually search for as you migrate you have this console uh, and within this blade you have the option for migration goals so everything starts with the project uh, within these migration goals let's say if I click on servers I need to actually create a project so for example here I can 
uh, change the project and here create a new project and then within that project i can have uh, the inventory to be run with the discovery uh, let's say i just wanted to create here one quick project by showing you for the demo so i can simply choose here my azure migration demo as a resource here and quickly i can see that this is demo for servers and uh, here i can choose the region as the uh, united states so once the project is created so the deployment is successful that's nothing but a project got created and if you if i just close this and a little bit zoom it for your text compatibility for i and you see here migrate project uh, which is the project which have created for demo and i do have another project which was creative for databases so you can actually check and you can switch back for the project so what exactly the project project will uh, will have the information which was populated the information with the help of discover and you will have the assessment so how do you start actually you you're going to start by creating a project and uh, then you're going to do the discover and then you're going to assess so that you know you know what's happening with that um, uh, discovered object and then you can view them uh, as a consolidated view from the overview and then you can plan for the migration so here again uh, to do that again you're going to follow similar steps again but this time once you discover you're going to actually replicate so when we say replicate the uh, object or the server uh, because we are talking about the server right the server might be in on-premises or maybe somewhere else right that server completely replicated to azure with the help of a replication object or replication service and then uh, you can uh, migrate that uh, as a vm completely to microsoft azure so your physical server becomes as a virtual machine to your azure services on your azure subscription of course you are going to choose your own resource group and you're going to choose your own vnet and firewall all that options based on your requirement and even the vm size so that's the uh, side of the service and similar thing if my goal is to create for a migration goal for database i would actually go and jump into the database and simply what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually change here my project uh, whatever i have created let's say i have created one for sql database i'll switch for that project and simply uh, when i run the assessment so i can do the assessment actually uh, with some kind of a you know, tool um, which is called database migration service so if i just run this tool on my sql service let's say if i have this is my sql server so this is going to be a tool a data migration assistant so this tool does that project automatic creation and then it's going to do the assessment and migration all that stuff for me and that would actually helps a lot in terms of uh, gathering the information and at the end of this uh, assessment it's gonna ask me to hey you want to upload to your azure if so it's gonna actually upload when you actually sign into the azure portal and later point you have an option to go for azure uh, nothing but a you know database migration service which is additional uh, service uh, which can be tied up here so you have to you know search for a database migration service and then create a instance there which will act in between uh, your on-premises and the sql database uh, to your azure cloud and then it would actually sync up and all that activity will be done so that's uh side of the database and we're going to do the demo so anything if we are talking about the servers and the database it actually takes a complete a day time if you are trying to do it on your on on your test environment sometimes because it we are talking about the replication so the it depends on the size of that vms and all that so in my case it took some time and i have passed all the video and i could be able to produce close to 35 to 40 minutes for servers and close to 30 minutes for database so that's what we're going to try to do so 
just to conclude you need to have your objective goal whether you want to migrate your servers from on-premises or databases from different cloud or on-premises to azure cloud or vdi infrastructure and then the web apps all that and then you're going to actually uh, migrate that object for that as a first step you're going to do the uh, assessment and then you're going to actually use the migration tools by the way i forgot to tell you about uh, the other tools there are uh, in the introduction we did talk about the third party tools also available so if i just click here i do have here this is from microsoft but you do have from in different uh, third party companies they also offer a similar kind of option for migrating your on-premises resources to azure cloud let's see uh, which is providing uh, for the cloud assessment uh, which will migrate your VMware and Hyper-V virtual machines, physical machines, workloads to other public clouds. So it's going to do that. And this is completely agentless or agent-based discovery also can be done. Similarly, uh, different vendors who are going to do all these. So if you are going to go with them, it might cost you additional costs because they're not free. So if you just you know choose this, option uh, then it's going to ask you for a pricing a nominal price they would expect you to you know pay because they're not going to offer you for free all these options so that's the uh, just uh, just wanted to tell you on that part for third party payment also might be needed if you are actually using uh, non microsoft uh, solution so that concludes this lecture and stay tuned for server migration this is going to be a lengthy lecture in the upcoming demo i will catch you in that lecture thank you for watching this